Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, celestial magi queens and kings of our new Avalon rising. Today our divine goddess Venus stations direct in our powerful golden sign of Leo the Lion, the heart of the cosmos. The threefold flame in our sacred heart centers are being fired up and activated in our highest mission of liberation earth. All starseed earth angelics are here to assist in protocol freedom earth where we release and free all of humanity from all slavery systems and false programs to be awakened in the light of true infinite source creator at one with our highest self. Our local Solaris continues to transmit the holy fire codes of divine transformation with multiple C-class flares today and another major M-class flare maxing at M6 at 836 UTC. We also had two spikes of white light on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 22 Hz and 25 Hz. Fifth dimensional energetics continue anchoring in. We are being lit up with the passion of divine union of the Christo Sophia, as the eagle flies with the condor and Shiva dances with Shakti in unity and the love of eternal life. All comes into perfect balance in the harmony of the music of the spheres. In the zero point quantum field of the cosmic womb of divine mother, all are protected and filled with the power and the glory of the Holy Spirit. Rest in her arms now and release all burdens and stress unto thee, and feel the great Spirit fill your body, mind, and spirit with the holy breath of infinite life. We call in our hierarchy of light to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun in this great ascension process. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer to flood the earth with violet flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 2 degrees, 53 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 11 degrees, 4 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 12 degrees Virgo. A bride with her veil snatched away. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Taurus. Steps up to a lawn blooming with clover from astrologyweekly.com and today from divine sis star of the light angelique m larson galactic master consciousness peering through the cosmic dance of mirroring universes celestial divine balance within the oneness of eternal potentiality breathe into your heart and receive the light code activations for what you require in this sacred now from AngeliqueLarson.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Divine Feminines Preparing to Birth Whole New Worlds. Rose Line, Holy Grail Keeper Activations, Masculine. Christos's Original King Arthur Blueprint Dropping In for Code Embodiment Integration. Continuation of the Syrian Updates. Any reversals have been corrected. This is a collective activation in progress. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Elohe Lysander, Daniel, Cleansing Water Energy Flow, Divine Mother's gracious attitude is one of divine flow, like life within, like deep diving into waters and sea, the passive, unobstructed, divine flow of liquid light eternal, sheds within a new perspective on those lost on the track of time, one passive embracement of God within, the reclaiming of energy, stated truthfully and with love, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, 
gateway of remembrance, remembering ourselves, returning home. Angels of eternal life, we are hoping for home returning at this point to anchor a new life, flow, energy in the body, indestructibility, gateway of dreams, new approach to humanity. It has reached a threshold. The dispelment of truth is not now. Disclosure. Close the end timeline. Return to birth the one universal Christos cosmic consciousness. We come to birth a new earth. The time has come to please heaven. Let there be light in the world. And today from divine Brothor of the light, Pars Kute. Vast forces of light are dramatically shifting the magnetic core of earth in this now moment. These flows of powerful light are emerging through the magnetic core and radiating outwards, impacting the energetic rotation of the planet and shifting the perception of what we refer to as time. We are being asked to let go of the old, outworn patterns created by the misperception of our ego mind to begin a different path of orientation through our heart space, our true reference point, our guiding light compass arises from our heart center. We now allow moments of stillness within our heart and take steps forward within the guidance, the feeling of rightness for ourselves. We are going to require our heart's guiding light in the upcoming phase. Such a magical and exciting times we are in, dear ones, within divine love of one pars coute, and from divine sister of delight Mary Costello, the black star Abaddon, in the hollow space returning in light to the rising feminine sun, it is being replaced as we speak, black star Abaddon, false holder of planetary spine, origin of crucifixion, crippling the masculine, attacking the mother principle through terror. Time is up. You are being seen. Your presence around the masculine spine has been seen, felt in the masculine as pain, attacking the feminine whenever it is triggered. Your death grip on the etheric rod is being undone now in the light of mother, within the waters of the etheric Ankh body, within the holy vision of the eye of the needle, it is so. From divine sister of the light Devyani sing Isis channelings. The journey begins. In a few hours, Venus Inanna stations direct on August 3rd, 4th, in her current synodic cycle as the Leo Meta goddess, weaving the third petal of the five petaled cosmic rose pentagram that she weaves in the heavenly skies in her eight year cycle. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, desire, sex, fertility, and money, and all things bright, blingy, sugar, and spice, is not a happy camper in retrograde, as she has been since July 22nd, which for us translates into a rather intense, vulnerable, and raw period of reassessment of relationships which are out of alignment with aspects of parts of ourselves, intimate relationships, family, work, and finances, that is, where are these relationships at divergence from our true values and heart desires? Where are we overcompensating, self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging in relationships instead of reclaiming self-love, self-worth, self-confidence, and self-respect with healthy boundaries? As Venus Inanna now stations direct as the Leo Meta Goddess for the next 19 months, which mirrors the ancient Sumerian myth of Inanna's death, rebirth, and empowerment. These are the very themes that will take center stage. The Leo Meta Goddess cycle is a personal favorite for me because it was with the Leo Meta Goddess cycle of August 2015 that I faced my own death of my old previous life and rebirth into freedom, independence, sovereignty, empowerment, leadership, purpose, and service. It was my personal rise of the phoenix from the ashes of the old, and not a day goes by without gratitude for the trajectory the Leo Meta Goddess set me upon. Even though Sekhmet 
as the primary energy of the Leo Meta Goddess, made me face my deepest fears and insecurities, for it was indeed baptism by fire. Courage is what she demands, and courage is what she elicits from us. Fear is the greatest illusion that keeps us from the life we deserve, desire, and are destined for, and Sekhmet makes us face up to our deepest fears. For only she who has flirted intimately with fear will know courage. Courage unlocks the heart and ultimately aligns us with confidence, faith, trust, and love. There can be no love without self-love. For how do we give something that we do not possess in the first place? Without self-love, we are prisoners of our own making, constantly requiring love, worth, fulfillment, validation, approval from external sources, relationships. Once we align with self-love, worth, it simply radiates out from our being and transforms all that we come in contact with and finds expression in the pursuit of our highest authentic, passionate, creative expression, and courageous pioneering and just action, leadership, and service. Sekhmet is the cosmic mother who will push us off the cliff so that we may find our wings and soar as the sovereign queens of the creative fires, queens and kings of our inner and outer kingdoms, all the while knowing and trusting that she has our back, because she does, with the highest protection and compassion that one can possibly imagine. Sakmet is kundalini energy at its best, passionate, fiery, fierce, earth-shattering, visceral, intense, creative, sensual, sexual, exciting, and above all, transformational. She promises you that you will not come out the other end of the cycle the same person as you are now entering it. Venus Inanna conjuncts the waning moon in the early morning sky at the first gate of her journey of death, rebirth, and empowerment at the crown chakra on September 11th. The journey begins. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. Clearly, we are in one of the most progressive eclipse corridors we have experienced. Each day now is a lifetime of change. Each day a rarefied opportunity to advance in consciousness, as consciousness itself is moved, hour by hour, from one reality to another, depending upon our engagement with it. On both Monday and Tuesday, the collective of humanity experienced a reset. Many were untethered from the lower timelines, able to begin more consciously now, a new organic life stream. My experience thus far has been fascinating. On Tuesday night, I embodied my I Am presence. It is, was, humbling, powerful, and sacred. Once embodied, our minds changed in ways that has one marveling at the mind's potential, and our heart opens in a new way that words would be remiss in describing. Perhaps the greatest blessing is we begin feeling more like who we truly are, having zero feelings of separation from God or anyone or anything else. Still, we are still knocking elbows and knees with lesser consciousness on this earth. For now, discernment is essential now, alignment is essential now, frequency is essential now. At a time such as this, do not underestimate your power nor your potential, 144 coming in, and do not underestimate your value and worth as the most important change makers on earth in this entire galaxy. This is the time to remember who you are. Go vertical with heart wide open and feet on the ground. Your consciousness can reach as far as you let it. You are a vast being of light. Reach for you, all of you. For in the times ahead, each will need all of themselves in unity and harmony to override the other than light consciousness that continues to assert their will and create shadow and doubt 
rather than thy will, which is a unifying principle and light particle of God that energetically resides in each one's soul. We are on a ride to freedom, beloved ones. Every step we take and every move we make is vital and has impact on earth and in the heavens. I say once again, never underestimate your power and worth. With love to all, Maureen, from MaureenMoss.com And from Divine Brothel of the Light, Andrew Smith, The Venus Diary on the 3rd of September Freshly released from a deep journey within, traipsing solo across a familiar landscape, reviewing her heart loss, her heart experience, her heart joy, her heart needs. She is hungry for new experience, eager to embrace the nascent heart dawn, even if she feels the faint remnants of this most recent deep healing process. The path does not need to be clear, just her heart, and this is what she has been working on, clearing the way so that she can openly articulate her heart, freeing herself from the binds that held her fast, revealing a hungry heart eager for connection and expression unencumbered, no longer contained by the former scripts with which she co-created the heart reality she has experienced no longer concerned about the impact that she has on those around her, her values reevaluated, her worthiness strengthened, and the fire within stoked. She stretches up and out, illuminating the dawn path clearly, brightly, and confidently, seeking only to live from a place of innocent kindness, no longer willing to distract herself with insane inner conversation, no longer wishing to have people only partially present for her, no longer eager to be taken for granted, and having to fight for her worth. This path feels alive and fresh, and for the first time in a while, infinitely fecund and boundless. Enjoy this fresh heart path. It has been well earned. Reflection on Venus preparing to pause, while stretching high on the dawn skies and fixed fire, Leo. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Pam Gregory. Over today and tomorrow, Venus moves stationary direct as Jupiter moves stationary retrograde. Taking Venus first, have you been reviewing and reevaluating your relationships, finances, and values over the last six weeks? Have you achieved more clarity now to make any different decisions in those areas? As Jupiter moves stationary retrograde, its symbolism will be magnified. So if you have any planets or angles between 13 to 16 degrees of the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, you may feel this. It is very expansive energy, so see which house it is falling in in your birth chart. Generally, Jupiter brings good things like success, recognition, abundance, or expansion in some way, like a business, social life, or travel. Again, this will be conditioned by where it is falling in your chart. Occasionally, if there is a problem in that area of life, house, Jupiter can expand the problem to bring your attention to it more fully. We will then have six planets in retrograde motion. This is encouraging a turning inwards, an introspection and assimilation period in the coming months of all that has happened in recent years, particularly earlier this year. From a higher perspective, would we repeat those actions and behaviors? Were we acting for the highest good of all? Were we acting from love or fear? Once the planets start to move direct later this year, we will have the chance to correct our course if necessary. Be conscious, loving, and wise in your choices and decisions. This is not to suggest that very little will happen in the outside world in terms of events. Indeed, it is likely to be feverish activity. This is a combination of turbulent and chaotic energy as more and more high-frequency light comes onto the planet and plays out in behavior and also those who feel the need to make desperate moves. Stay out of fear, whatever happens. Operate from the inside out, not the outside in. Know that you create your own reality. Your own frequency is everything. Everything cascades from that. 
Once you set your compass needle on joy, love, peace, compassion, and gratitude, those are the kinds of experiences you will continue to meet. You can only experience the reality that you are a frequency matched to. It is a law of the universe. So we will be able to observe events playing out in 3D and remember that they are likely to be even bigger, scarier things. Just observe with neutrality and continue to create, create, create your more loving world, especially with others of like mind if you can. We are making remarkable progress. Drop into stillness, love the silence, bare feet on the grass, be in awe and wonder of nature, bird song, cobwebs, and small shifts in the seasons. Talk to the animals and plants, stare deeply into a flower, watch the sunsets and sunrises, love all of Gaia's magic as an organic being. She is guiding us home. Blessings to you all from the next step .uk com, And today from Heron the Moon Astrology, Sunday, September 3rd, 2023, turning inward, doing those deeply unfashionable things, slowing down, letting your spare time expand, getting enough sleep, resting, is a radical act now, but it is essential. This is a crossroads we all know, a moment when you need to shed a skin. If you do, you'll expose all those painful nerve endings and feel so raw that you'll need to take care of yourself for a while. If you don't, then that skin will harden around you. Catherine May from Wintering, The Power of Rest and Retreat in Difficult Times On September 3rd, Venus turns direct in Leo after seven weeks in the wilderness. She has backtracked from 28 degrees to 12 degrees Leo. And between now and October 10, 1010 10 portal, will reactivate these degrees for the third time wherever they are in your chart. Since July 23rd, when the goddess disappeared into the wilderness, you have been faced with aspects of yourself that you normally keep well hidden. Now it is time to start looking at what you've learned from pattern spotting, self-sabotaging habits of intimacy, money, and self-worth. At the same time, Guru Jupiter stations retrograde in Taurus until December 31st, joining an unusual confluence of no fewer than seven retrograde planets. Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Chiron, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Three of the most recent retrogrades, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, are in Earth signs, Virgo and Taurus. There is no mistaking the theme, this Virgo season marks a deep inward turning, a time of intense personal focus, re-evaluation, and reckoning, in the approach to the midpoint of the astrological year at the Libra equinox on September 23rd. As the Sun and Mercury make a retrograde conjunction in Virgo on September 6th, align your priorities. To assess the potential of this earth magic, pay attention to your body's many messages. Put down deep roots of belonging, if not to a place, to yourself. Strengthen the pillars that hold up your well-being and health. Clear the river of your personal ecology. Set up mindful routines to strengthen your foundations and support systems. Realize that what you stop doing, detangle and remove, is as important as what you keep. See this as a gift of long overdue physical healing, repair and integration, an essential crucible for next season's growth. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Colleen Lemma. On Sunday, September 3rd, beautiful Venus, ruler of the feminine archetype, and colorful Leo will be shifting back to direct motion at 9.20 p.m. Eastern Time. She started her journey in this fire sign of the courageous lion on June 5th, turned retrograde at 28 degrees Leo on July 22nd, and as she shifts back to direct motion, will stay in Leo until October 8th. The usual amount of time that she spends in each sign of the zodiac is 30 days. But in this confidence sign, it will be just over four months before she moves on. 
Venus rules attraction, desire, relationships, connection, love, sensuality, happiness, harmony, money, finances, values, and self-worth. So during this time of retrograde movement, she has been reevaluating all of those areas. In Leo, she is looking for appreciation and recognition, to know that she is valued, but mostly to find her inner sense of self-worth. It is also about her creative self-expression and shining her light out into the world. Now that she is shifting to move forward once again, she will take what she has discovered and learned and take the necessary steps to attract and magnetize what she desires. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lunar Aspects, the moon pings the ongoing square between Pluto and the nodes. With Luna and Aries, she pushes us to get fired up, passionate, motivated, inspired. There are goals to pursue, independent projects to start, new paths to traverse, a new life to lead. Oh, what adventures there are to come. But there's also the fear of change, the terror of starting again. The horror of destabilizing all that is in place already. And for some, it's the very real matter of negotiating power imbalances, dealing with authorities, dealing with the fact that some things are just not in our control. Don't let the process scare you. As the moon moves into Taurus, hackles settle, the burn of desire calms, the heat of anger dissipates. The fury of needing everything to be now, now, now transforms into, it's okay, I have time, let's take it slow. Here is a real opportunity to put plans in place, construct a safe path and secure your resources. Ask for advice if needed, focus on quality, not quantity. Trust in your ability to achieve your dreams. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zoltkeen Times, King 213, Red Overtone Skywalker. Overtone is the name for the number five and its keywords are empower, command, and radiate. The gear changes in any wave spell are linked by the color of the first day. So as this is the red moon wave spell and the first day is red, then the fifth, ninth, and last day are the same color too. These gear changes shift the energy of the wave spell. The first day begins the journey. Today, the fifth day, marks the point where the energy noticeably increases. The ninth day is the highest gear and the last day marks the end. Today, we can all make use of this gear shift and harness that energy. This is why it is an empowering number. So here's a high five to you folks. Today is Red Skywalker and it represents wakefulness, space, and exploring. An empowered Skywalker is quite a force to be reckoned with, but in a good way. Skywalker always entices us to go exploring, to think outside the box, and be a little unconventional. Today we can all shapeshift into Skywalkers and enjoy the feeling of empowerment through our brave adventures. This is especially useful if you've been struggling to solve a problem lately because by looking at the situation in a new way, a way that you normally wouldn't see, this could give you the insight you need. Think of it as an exercise and not being you for a moment and trying to see things as if you were someone else. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Overtone Skywalker, 5 Bane, Keen 213, 3rd of September, 2023, 333 Portal. Radiant Expansion, Commanding the New Time, Birthing the Dream. 3, 9, 2023, equal 3, 9, 7, equal 3, 16, equal 3, 7, equal 10, equal 1. 37 into the 73, Heaven on Earth. Day Codes, 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Creativity, Communication. 10. Manifestation, Perfection, Power, Authority. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Unique, Leader, Independent. Month Year Codes, 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 
16. Tower struck by lightning. Sudden unexpected events. 20. The awakening. Clear vision. 2. Partner twin cooperation. Alliances. Duality. 23. Royal star of the lion. Strength protection. Keen 213 equals 6. Heaven. Christ consciousness. Today we have a radiant divine manifestation portal of infinite expansion through new birth. Day 5 and the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow. Today we are exploring new spaces and realms, opening the floodgates for new experiences and greater flow. Tone of creation, overtone. Tone 5 in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. The emphasis today is on empowerment and radiance through the action of command. This tone is doubled today through the year of the overtone wizard code. Double the radiance today. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. Today we are empowering our authority through new leadership opportunities. We are focused on our missions and what legacy we will leave future generations through our world service. Today we are empowered to step up in our leadership role, taking the reins as the way showers and new earth leaders. Full steam ahead. The overtone tone aligns beautifully with today's hidden superpower, the yellow star, which wants us all to sparkle and glow. Anything is possible in the infinite playground we occupy as creator beings. Expand your being into pure states of consciousness today in order to totally align and fully open the cosmic floodgates to prosperity and greater joy. And so mote it be, precious hearts, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, time traveling, and sky walking. Tune in and align with the endless cosmic flow of creative manifesting power. It is time to take command of your life and expand into unlimited avenues for expansion of your soul's desires and purpose. Today's questions are, how can I birth a greater, more empowered and radiant version of my expanded self through my soul's desires and greater divine purpose? Are we ready as a collective to command and birth our new world into existence to manifest the new time? Divine blessings for exploring and expanding into endless realms of possibility today. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 213, Red Overtone Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I am power in order to explore. Commanding wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of birth. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. 
and to our tribe on Patreon and YouTube memberships, be sure to check out today's new guided meditation from my sacred condor, Quantum Leaping into Your Dream Dwelling, Your Dream Home. And be sure to sign up for our weekly teachings, guided meditations, and other special transmissions on Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Amanda Reed, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank Amanda Reed for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships, and welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Bertha Maldonado, for another super thanks donation and for your continued support. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you very much. We appreciate you all very much. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer, flood the earth with violet flame. In the name of the Great I Am, I call for the light of a thousand suns from the great central sun, angels of violet fire, beloved Saint Germain, beloved Zadkiel, and holy amethyst, Omri Tas, ruler of the violet planet. In the name of God, I am that I am. Saturate the earth and all of her evolution with limitless waves of violet fire. I call for the action of the violet transmuting flame and the action of the will of God to manifest on earth now and forever, an ever-increasing spiral of divine perfection. I call for all discord and activities on earth that are not reflecting the highest light and God's holy purposes to be miraculously swept and transformed by the power of the violet flame into divine love and harmony for the restoration of earth and her people, into their original blueprint of perfection that was originally intended. Violet flame, violet flame, O oh violet flame, in the name of God, flood the earth, her people, and all her kingdoms with oceans and oceans of violet fire, until every particle of life is restored to divine perfection. May peace and love be spread throughout the earth. May the earth abide in the aura of perfect love. May the earth abide in an aura of peace, love, and freedom. I give thanks that it is done now according to God's holy will. And so be it, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and through the upcoming 9-9 Gateway and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.